Let's try out this weekly math challenge. And the very first person to correctly answer this question was Arnian Soman with the correct answer of 3 4 A huge congratulations. Now let's look at the question. Floor of x plus 0 0.5 is less than floor of x plus 0 0.2018. Well, 0 0.2018 is less than 1. So that's telling us that simply that floor of x plus 0 0.5 is equal to floor of x. That's what this thing is telling us. These two statements are identical because floor of x plus 0 0.5 has to be either, that's going to be either floor of x or floor of x plus 1 depending on the fractional value of x. So we know floor of x plus 0 0.5 being less than floor of x plus this value smaller than 1 is telling us that this thing and floor of x has to be the same. And using the same reasoning, this thing is telling us that floor of x plus 0 0.9, which is either floor of x or floor of x plus 1, is more than floor of x plus this decimal. That's telling us that this thing has to be, this thing has to be floor of x plus 1. So now let's think about what kind of values of x satisfy these constraints. Now, the only thing we have to focus on is the fractional part of x. We don't have to worry about the integer part. Fractional part of x. We don't have to worry about the integer part because the fractional part of x is going to determine whether this expression evaluates to floor of x or floor of x plus 1. Whether that fractional part is going to combine with 0 0.5 to produce a value larger or equal to 1 is what's going to determine the entire value of this. So we don't have to worry about the integer part of x. We can just examine the fractional part of x. And the fractional part of x is always between 0 and 1, and it can be 0. So let's examine where the fractional parts of x that allow these two equations to be true lie within this spectrum between 0 and 1. Well, the fact that floor of x plus 0 0.5 is equal to floor of x is telling us that fractional part of x has to be less than 0 0.5. We know fractional part of x has to be less than 0 0.5 because if fractional part of x is more than 0 0.5, that's going to combine with 0 0.5 to produce a value greater than or equal to 1, which is going to cause this cause this to be a floor of x plus 1, not floor of x. So it has to be below 0 0.5. And using a similar reasoning, this equation is telling us that the fractional part of x has to be more than 0 0.1 has to be more than 0 0.1 because if the fractional part of x is less than 0 0.1, it's going to combine with 0 0.9 to produce something less than 1. So we're not going to have enough additional values to bring us all the way to floor of x plus 1. It's going to round us down to floor of x. So now, now we know that x has to be between 0 0.1 and 0 0.5. So th this thing has length, length 0 0.4. So that's our sample space. We know x has to be between 0 0.1 and 0 0.5. The fractional part, let me make sure I state it clearly, the fractional part of x has to be between 0 0.1 and 0 0.5. Now let's read this statement. We want the floor of x minus 0 0.4 to be equal to floor of x minus 1. Well, that's simply telling us, using the similar reasoning, that our x, our x has to be less than 0 0.4. So if here is 0 0.4, we know our x has to be less than that. We know our x has to be less than 0 0.4 because when our x value, when the fractional part, let, let me make sure I state it clearly, when the fractional part of x is more than 0 0.4, then this thing is going to turn out to be a positive value when the fractional part minus 0 0.4 is evaluated. That's not going to bring us down to floor of x minus 1. But when the fractional part of x is less than 0 .5, 0 0.4, then fractional part of x minus 0 0.4 is going to be negative, which is going to allow this value to be evaluated as floor of x minus 1. So we know x has to be below 0 0.4. So the area that we want is this area between 0 0.1 and 0 0.4, which has length 0 0.3. So the, air, the length that we want has the length 0 0.3, the length of the sample space is 0 0.4, so our probability is simply 3 fourths.